What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Cesar with Cesar Gets Crypto, and we are talking about Bitcoin Cash today. I'm gonna to try to make this video quick. I'm feeling a little bit under the weather, so you know I feel I feel a little bit foggy in my head. Um, to all the people who are new here, welcome. To all the people who are old here, get out. No, you got welcome. Thank you guys for staying. Thank you for being here. If you like the video, leave a like. If you'd like to subscribe to see more, please please do that. Um, we're looking at Bitcoin Cash today. And so far, you know, I've got this fib drawn up. I've had it drawn up a few times. So far, we've yet to have a sizable retracement. For Bitcoin Cash, an average retracement goes to around this 0.5 area. We're not even near that. You know, this, this is definitely not buying time. And on the weekly even, man, we get rid of this fib. You can just see how bearish this week looks, man. We got one day, 20 hours left, basically two days left. We went all the way up to the upper areas of these weeks here, almost engulfing it, but not really. And we rejected it. And now we're to the downside. This is a very uh, bearish looking candle. And yeah, I don't, I, I don't think it bodes well. We have a day left in 20 hours. Uh, so this, this could flip around, but I don't think it will, man. I, think, I do think we go lower from here. Um, I think this is just the beginning of an of a overall move to the downside. Um, and looking at it, you know, it's easy to assume that oh it went up this quick it's gonna it's gonna drop that quick no it's not i don't think it's going to it could it could drop that quickly but i don't think it's going to i think i do think that we're going to have a more kind of methodical move down as we're seeing you know it's gonna it's not going to be a move like this it's going to be a move like this right where where we're moving down over weeks maybe even a month and a half or something like that you know it did take us two weeks to have this move go up generally with bitcoin cash you see the move that follows it right if you're going up and then you're going down or you're going down and then you're going up whatever the consolidate consolidation move is it tends to take twice as long at a minimum twice as long as the move itself did so we're, we're only two weeks out from where the top was i would expect that we've probably at least got two more weeks to go and that would put us at the 24th of july uh basically the last week like the last eight days of july itself and you know it could go further than that we could we could keep moving down until august again Moving down till August, that would look something like this, right? It's not gonna be a straight move down like that. We're not gonna just lose our ass and drop out. If we do, if we do something else that's common with Bitcoin Cash, if we were to have like a straight drop down, we would move sideways for, for probably, probably about the same amount of time. We might not move lower, but we would move sideways for about the same amount of time. You can go back and look on a weekly basis. I mean, just, just like for an example here, um, I don't know. Here you moved up one week, right? And you had your top here. Then you had a very big move to the downside. And as a result, you moved sideways for one, two, three, four, five weeks. And then on the sixth week, you move out or you, you broke out. Um, but you, you hung around, you moved sideways for quite a while, for over a month actually. And this was after a big move to the downside. Whenever you had this uh, big move up, you know, you went, you went down. It took you one week to move up this big. You went down one, two, three, four weeks, but it was a lot more methodical, right? You didn't just drop and then move sideways. But either way, either way, I do think uh, I do think we got lower to go from here, guys. Looking at the four hour, I forget if I said this already, but you know I'll say it again if if I didn't or if I did. Um, we broke through the 123 purple line here. This 123 moving average, we broke through it. We didn't even test it as support. Broke through it. Came through, tested it as resistance, and got a straight rejection off of this line. So I do think that we go lower. Um, we are pretty, we're, we're, we're pretty close to the 50. We are above it technically. And generally this is a, a, a good area. This kind of stuff, this kind of price action with these readings would be a good time to buy, but I'm not convinced that that's happening. I'm not convinced that, that that it's a good time to buy. And that's because, you know, and when we look at, we go to BTC USD here, um, and we go to the daily, we just had a bearish engulfing candle on Bitcoin. And I do think that the BCH BTC pair looks just as bearish as the BTC uh, dollar pair does. It hasn't had a sizable retracement either yet. I would think it would at least want to go to the 382, but likely probably lower. Um, and you know, there's, there is some, there is some, uh, some stuff, I guess, some not good stuff I wanted to talk about. You know, I, in my yesterday's video talking about Bitcoin Cash, I think it was yesterday, maybe it was the day before, but I was talking about how we have never had more than three weeks of being in this overbought zone. We've, we never have, not in Bitcoin Cash's history. And right now, as of right now, we're one, two, three, 
four weeks in the overbought zone. You know, we're very close to getting out of the overbought zone. All this thing needs to do is move just a little bit lower over the next day and 20 hours. And, you know, literally just a little bit lower. If it was, oh, this is BCH BTC. If we were to do BCH USD, um, what I was saying was true for the BCH USD chart. If we were to move down like 10 more dollars from here, we would get out of this overbought zone. And again, you know, the reason I said that yesterday is because we went through and we measured uh, every single instance. You can see every time that it, whenever it gets into the overbought zone, it's not there for long, you know, a few weeks at the most. And we're already over that right now. This is our fourth week. So, I do expect this week to close red. I do expect it to close lower than we are now. And, you know, all that to say, you know, we've got we've got lower daily closes here. We got a lower daily close. We just closed the four hour here. Got a lower four hourly close. We are showing bullish divergence, but that, that can change. All we have to do is close this candle red. Even if we don't, you know, I don't think much will come off of it or come out of it personally. Um, we could be in a position where we go up from here. The RSI gets higher on readings, but the price does not get higher than this high here. That would be hidden bearish divergence, marking that the move is still going to continue downward. And even if we don't do that, if we just close this hour red, the, the move itself is continuing downward. So just getting in this oversold zone, I would, and in, in like hanging out in this area like this, I would expect that this is only the beginning of the move to the downside. You don't get into the oversold zone. And then, I mean, like sometimes you do like this if you just straight reject it and then you go out. But generally, like let's see here, let's let's see the first time you know you're in the overbought zone here. But when did you first get in the overbought zone? It was way back here, right? Way, 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 man, come on, come on now, way over here. You got into the overbought zone, and then yes, you came out of it. Was this the end of the up move? No, it was just the beginning. You you know what I mean? It was just the beginning. So I I don't think that if we come out of the oversold zone that this is gonna mark the end of this down move. It can, it has before, you know, if you get like a straight rejection, you go above the 50 and you have a sizable move. But I think I think with this lower four hourly close, this lower daily close, the fact that on the weekly we look like this right now, we're having like a falling star uh, doji. And on the uh, FIB scales here, we are we are nowhere near any sizable retracements that Bitcoin Cash normally makes. Um, I, I just think we're going lower, guys. So it's just more of the same. If you like the video, leave a thumbs up, subscribe to see more, and yeah, I will I will see you guys on the next one. We'll keep you informed on this. Take care. Bye bye.